I'm going to show you how to adjust your speed governor on your Ford Expeditions. It's the same for F-150s and a lot of other SUVs that have a speed governor. The top speed governor and they got rev limiters. You don't want to adjust the rev limiter too high because you know you could destroy your engine so you could probably raise your rev limiter up a little bit but I'm going to show you how to do it with an SCT X4 tuner so I'm going to show you how to adjust your speeds and RPMs so like if you go to the track or the dyno you can go over 100 miles an hour because from the factory trucks and SUVs after 1996 and newer they have a top speed governor which will not let you exceed 100 miles an hour so if you've ever noticed if you've passed somebody and you just happen to get near 100 miles an hour you feel the vehicle cut on you well it's cutting the fuel pump and cutting by way of the uh, PCM the computer the computers cutting your top speed because of a governor that they put on there. Well this SCT tuner you can adjust your governor to raise the speed limit on the governor or turn it off entirely. I'm going to show you how to do that. First you go on the SCT tuner and hit program vehicle. You accept the notice right there. You say continue. Turn the key on. Don't turn anything else on, just the key on, but not the engine. Now it's going to make you wait a little bit. And it'll let you adjust perimeters. Now you pick which one you have. Like mine's the 5.4 Expedition, so we'll pick that. And it takes a little while to process data. And then it will give you a list of things that you can change. Like, I've already done all the changes I want to do. It asks you, do you, okay, you've already got some changes. Do you want to look at them? Yes. Next. Okay, so here's things you can adjust. You can adjust the fuel octane to where it's either 87, 91, or 93. I'm going to go 87 because I don't have any boost. There's no point to run higher octane traction control do you want it on or off I already picked off you can adjust your spark timing degrees which I've already adjusted wide open air fuel you can richen your fuel mixture at wide open throttle mine's already done axle ratio if you got a different uh, rear end in there different rear end axle than stock then you can adjust that I'd leave it alone if you don't Tire revs, if you got a bigger tire, you can adjust that accordingly. Speed limit, here we go. Now, here's all the different things you can pick. Here's all your speed governors here. You can cut it off at practically any mile per hour you want. But most factory cars are set at 100 miles an hour. Right there. So just under 100 miles an hour, your fuel cuts. So if you want to adjust your speed governor, like me, well, I don't like having a governor, so you can have it at 105, 110, 115, 120, 25, or just turn the speed limit off, which means you'll no longer have a governor. Your vehicle will go as fast as it will go, RPM limited. So until you hit your rev limiter, your max RPMs, that's as fast as you can go. So you'll reach the true top speed of the vehicle, whether you're on the track or the dyno, you can do that. So you pick this one if you don't want a speed governor. Say you just want to raise it up a little bit to 125, you can do that too. So, okay. Next, different... Uh, different RPMs like say you want to adjust your rev limiter you can adjust your engine rev limiter 
because normally it's like just under 6,000 but you can put it all the way to 6350 if you like which I'm going to do okay your rev limit neutral like say you're neutral you just rev in it you can adjust your maximum rpm for that the governor usually doesn't let you rev about 3500 rpm idle you want to set your idle you can set what rpms you want at idle i like a nice low idle like 550 rpms stocks about almost 700 rpms and idle speed neutral what you want your idle to be at neutral and drive you can chase change pretty much lots of parameters here like say you want to go a little faster in each gear wide open throttle shift one to two you can go different miles per hour over what the factory does so you can go second third fourth and shift pressure you can adjust your shift pressure up to up to 25 percent more so I've got all my shift pressure on every gear adjusted 25 percent more and when you're done you approve and there you go and you wait for the uh, tune to start applying turn the key off like it tells you to do turn the key on like it says to do and now it's doing the programming to your computer so all the changes you made will be finalized after this timer stops I'm not gonna make you all wait for this thing I'm just gonna pause it until we reach a hundred percent more to follow okay we're almost done here okay once this thing's finished that means you've successfully downloaded an 87 octane tune and the adjustments you made on the factory PCM for example the biggest adjustment I made was turning off my speed governor so my vehicle can reach its true top speed either on the drag strip the racetrack or the dyno because if you cannot go over 100 miles an hour on the dyno you're not going to finish your full dyno pull but this is how you do it it's finished and then turn the vehicle key off and then you can test it make sure everything works turn it on yep it works and another thing I like about these SCT tuners is you got gauges you can pick any gauges you want to see for example I've already got eight gauges picked but I'll show you the configurations So you can pick all kinds of different things. Mine's 07 and prior years, so that's what I pick. Okay. And I like to pick eight gauges to watch. So here they are. Up here you got battery voltage. Huh, idle speed. I don't like that one so I'm going to change it I'll show you how to change so you go select it item and I'm going to pick RPM RPM right there and approve and now it shows RPMs coolant temperature intake temperature that's how I know what my intake temperature is I don't like that desired idle no I don't need that so I'm going to change that to a different setting pick vehicle speed transmission temperature yes I like that one so I'm going to pick transmission temperature and I don't like load I don't need that one so I'm going to go mass airflow I want to look at my mass airflow numbers. So, spark math counts. There we go. Approve. 
Okay. Then the bottom two, I'm going to pick short term. And I'll do another short term. Okay, let's take a look at everything. Battery voltage, RPM, coolant temperature, intake air temperature, transmission temperature, mass airflow counts, short term bank one, short term bank two, fuel trim counts. So that looks good to me. And I hope you like this little video on how to make adjustments using an SCT-X4 tuner to your top speeds, your RPMs, your shift pressures. Pick what gauges you want to watch. This tuner is a great little thing. It also lets you check your check engine codes. Like say for example you have a check engine light, which I don't. But let's check anyway. Stop data log vehicle functions, read discrepancy codes, continue, okay say so you got a couple codes here, oh look at that no description, well I'm just going to clear it, and you can clear codes as well, which is nice, special functions, you can also clear keep alive memory, which is all the memory that your PCM has and you can uh, basically reset it and get it to relearn your driving characteristics like say you upgraded your air filter or exhaust system you can reset your keep alive memory and it'll have your engine relearn within 30 to 50 miles it will relearn your your new aspects of your vehicle to a certain point once you put too many modifications on then you need a custom tune but this little tuner here will let you do you know some basic things like intake and exhaust and it will improve your performance as well as fuel economy so we'll get back to gauges that's my setting I leave when I drive I can watch my gauges okay and there you have it the SCT X4 tuner how to make adjustments and re make adjustments on your PCM, your computer, your powertrain control module, and make your vehicle run better. More speed for the track or the dyno so you can get your numbers. You can go over 100 miles an hour. I don't recommend that anywhere else but the track and the dyno. Well, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel, Mad Boosting. And have a great day, and mad boosting.